So today's pretty crazy. People see the car roll up and they see the other cars in the driveway. They see this come out and most people that drive by think it's another car, part of a collection, probably doesn't mean anything. Um, somebody just collecting it as a trophy. And what's crazy is most people have no clue about my background, what any of these things mean to me. Grew up, we didn't have a car most of our lives. The few cars that we had when we were really lucky were a Datsun B210 wagon, we had a Pinto, and we had a Vega. And those things lasted a matter of a few months, and that's when things were really good. Life was good because we at least had a car for a few months. So for that period of time, went through that. And then when I got older, we didn't have money to buy a car. I would use my lunch money to buy auto traders to uh, just look at cars, circle cars, and pretend that I'd be able to buy these $2,000 cars that to me at that time were so amazing that I knew we didn't have $2,000 to buy. So for someone who was a car fan forever um, and not having those things, is it really created a different sense of appreciation. People look at it as these things are, are trophies or these things are status symbols. But to me, these are not only artwork, but something that I have grown such a great appreciation for over the years that other people might not be able to understand because they didn't have to take the bus everywhere. They didn't have to walk everywhere. They didn't have to bum rides until they were 20 years old. And so for me is these things are goals for me. Every day I'm able to wake up and say that even though I didn't have these things, I'm able to put in work today, develop myself, develop my business and be able to get those things that I didn't have when I was younger, when I didn't have an opportunity to work for those things. So, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy today to be able to see those things. Um, you know, and it's not only something that was a goal and something that I appreciate, but it's also something that every single day is a reminder of who I am and what I'm capable of. I wake up and I do cardio in the morning and I look out at a driveway of these cars that were posters on the wall as a kid. These were things that I would dream of. These were things that were absolute fantasies that I'd never seen in person. I definitely didn't know anybody that even owned any of these cars. I'd never touched one. These were fantasies that I made reality through hard work and dedication. And so for me, it's a daily reminder when I get on a Stairmaster or I'm about to go for a run and I've had a bad day and I got defeated and I got knocked down and I feel like maybe I, maybe I don't have what it takes at this level. I get to look at those things and they get to tell me, yeah, you do. You made your dreams a reality and you can do it again. Just get up and keep going. So people drive by, they see the cars and to some people, these may not mean something, but to me, these, these things are a daily reminder of who I am, what I'm capable of and remind me that no matter where I started or what I had, no matter what I wasn't getting and whatever life didn't provide for me, I can get up and I can build it, I can make it myself and I can turn it into something regardless. So the other thing is this new home too, is this is the first time I didn't even realize, but we haven't um, even announced our new house is even growing up, we didn't have a house. We lived with family or we lived in an apartment and most days, most months we'd come home to a yellow or a red ticket on the door. Not sure how many days we, we had left to be able to stay in there and try to figure out rent. So through that whole period of time, my mom never had a, had a home of her own. We never had a house. And through this hard work, I've not only been able to buy a home that is for myself and for my family, but I've been able to buy my mom a home, be able to create that type of security. So you know, for me is the, the story isn't about, tan, isn't, isn't about these tangible items. It isn't about fancy stuff. It's about what something means to you and what's gonna make you wake up in the morning and light fire under your feet. And also that's gonna be a reminder every day to keep that fire burning under your feet and keep going. For me, it's cars. For somebody else, it might be being able to wake up on a piece of land in a van and be able to look at a piece of property they love. Each person has to find what, what they love understand what, what makes them tick and then use that as motivation to keep going every day, kick ass and, and take names. So for me, these are those things. And today is one of those days where again, somebody will look at it and see another car. This right here tells a story. It's a list of things that I've had to do over the last year. It's sacrifices, it's early mornings, it's long days. It's developing myself in areas that I didn't think I was capable of being developed in, that I wasn't good in. All of those things have to happen for me to reach the next level. And each one of these things shows me that next level that I reached and they remind me of what I'm capable of. So I just feel super blessed today, 35 years old and feel like coming from where I came from, where in sixth grade, I had to wear my mom's shoes to school. You know, we didn't even have money to buy me shoes. They had, they were white deck shoes that had holes in the bottom. So I'd have to be careful walking to school because I didn't want to walk through the wet grass because I didn't want to have socks that were wet all day. So going through that, to where, where I am now as, you know, I, and after, after that I dropped out of high school, two time ex felon, the list goes on of the mistakes made and a bad track record. So to be where I am now as a two time Inc 5000 recipient, almost made the top 500 fastest growing businesses in the US. Um, you know, having a 
multiple years of an eight figure business, other businesses that are under the belt too, um, is something that's pretty amazing and every day feels kind of surreal. And now that's the reason why I wanted to start a podcast. I wanted to do other things is I feel like I didn't have an Ivy league education. I didn't have a lot of the tools. I made a lot of those mistakes. And I think there's a lot of other people when somebody comes into your school to talk and they talk about all these things you need to do and the SATs and other things, um, you may not relate to them because you're not doing good in those areas and you don't feel like you can. And then you kind of feel like you might not be able to be successful if you don't do those things. So um, I wanted to be able to pay it forward. The things I've learned over the years, the way that I've been able to find happiness and success. And I feel that I can connect with a lot of those people that may not have it all figured out, may not have started with a silver spoon in their mouth, but want to create something better for themselves. Again, maybe, maybe it's not cars, maybe it's not a house. Um, but it's to find happiness in their own form of success. And I feel like mine is not so much my form of success, but I feel like I can pay it forward in helping people find themselves, what makes them tick. And so this is kind of on a higher level. I'm now gonna be launching my podcast. It's gonna be the Go Hard podcast. And this is gonna be an extension of my passion, which is gonna be helping people. I feel like over the last, 12 years of business and all the things I've overcome that I have a lot of things that I could pay forward. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be giving you guys uh, knowledge bombs. I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of advice. I'm going to be talking about my past experiences. That hopefully you guys can relate to because I've made a ton of mistakes. So I want to be able to have it be a real podcast. It's not going to be all the glitz and glory. It's going to be talking about the real gritty parts of business and letting you guys know if you're in business or trying to pursue your own thing, People make mistakes. I make mistakes every day. I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to be real and be transparent. And I'm going to have guests on that are going to be doing the same thing. So um, it's going to be awesome. Make sure you guys go to iTunes, subscribe, look forward to the first episode, and uh, I'll see you guys there.